All right, so we are getting into lab three, which is all about microscopy, um, all about the microscope. All right, so we're going to start off with two main things, just the care of the microscopes and how to handle the slides. So when you're carrying the microscope, you want two hands on it, one on the bottom, one on the handle, and you just really want to be delicate with it. It's got a lot of fine little things, uh, pieces that tie into each other. So the more you jostle it, the more quickly the quicker it's going to kind of break, fall apart. All right, so don't slide it across the tabletop. Just pick it up, put it down. Um, you know, just be gentle when handling it. All right, and, and that kind of goes the same for the slides. When you're handling the size slides, you can look at that picture and see he's holding on, on either end. He's not holding it over the middle where the specimen is. Uh, you know, when you're putting it in into the case and taking it out. Just be delicate with it. Be gentle. Um, don't put it on top of the countertop, the tabletops, because that's where it lent, tends to uh, be knocked off. And really, just be gentle with all these things. They're expensive. You know, an average slide is around seventy-five dollars, and microscopes that we got are about seventy-five hundred. And so, you can imagine it's difficult to replace them, or very expensive at the least to replace those. So, be be nice when you're handling the microscopes. We're going to uh, cover a bunch of uh, structures on the microscope just to get you up to speed and make sure that everyone's familiar with the pieces that we're going to be using the most. All right, so if you look at the things in blue, it's the ocular lens and the objective lens. And this is these two things are what give you your magnification. So the ocular lens has a 10x uh, magnification, and the objective lens it really depends on what objective lens you're on, but they range from 4 to 400. We also have an 1,000 a a thousand, uh, magnification or objectification, which you shouldn't use. It's an oil immersion lens. It's marked in white on our microscopes. And really, if you use it, you're going to break your slides because it's designed to be immersed in um, oil. All right. So when you're figuring out the total magnification what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the ocular lens which is 10 times whatever objective lens and uh, for example if you are on a 4x objectification you multiply that by the ocular lens which is 10 so you have a 40 magnification right? if you had a 40 objective lens you're going to multiply it by 10 you're going to get 400 if you look in yellow those are the things that control the amount of light that comes through. It's called the condenser is the one that's attached to the stage. And this is going to control the amount of light that actually accesses the stage or gets through the stage. And then you look at the illuminator, and that's the actual, basically a flashlight, the actual source of light. All right, so if you notice that your light, you're looking through the microscope and it's too dark or it's too bright, you're going to mess with the condensers of the illuminator to control how much light is accessing the slide. And, and what you use to get into focus is the, in red here, is the coarse and fine focus knobs. And so the coarse is what you use when you're first starting out because it's going to make very large changes as you move it. The fine focus is once you get almost in focus with the coarse, you, you use the fine and that really fine tunes it and makes it an incredible detail. Right, and so when you're always starting out, you want to start with what's called the scanning lens, which is also the 4x objectification. Right, so the lowest powered microscope, uh, the lowest powered lens that you can use on the microscope. Right, and really, that's it when you talk about uh, the structures on the microscope. It's really they're all designed to make it easy to view. Right, and so. For the lab that's coming up, just make sure you follow the directions. Make sure that you understand uh, field of view, right? So it's covered in your lab manual in good detail, but real briefly, basically what the field of view is, is what you're looking for. So if you increase your field of view, you're basically able to see more of the specimen. And so to do that, you're lowering the magnification. So if you increase your field of view, you lower your magnification. Conversely, if you decrease your field of view, you are increasing your magnification because you are really honing in on one particular part of the specimen. Right? And so you can skip a bunch of that uh, the reading 
and make sure you do the questions for your syllabus. And that guy in the corner is really the reason we're looking at microscopes now. He was probably in the 1600s. They really fine-tuned the microscope and was the first one to really observe uh, unicellular uh, organisms. And so Antoine Van Leeuwenhoek, you're welcome. We're still doing it. Okay, so one last thing is we have really started to incorporate the iPad into a lot of these slides. Right? And so you'll see us kind of reference the applications. And um, it's really what you're looking at are images that are taken with a microscope or a digital microscope. And the magnification basically ranges from 40 at the unzoomed uh, view to 200x magnification. Right? And so some of you got a DVD with your lab manual and that also matches uh, the same images. So these images, every image that you see right now is or you see on your DVD or you see in the iPad are, in, are from slides in class. And right? so when you're labeling it, if you were looking through a microscope or you're drawing it through a microscope, you're going to label the name of the slide or the tissue and you're going to tell me the magnification that's associated with it. And for the iPad, it's a little less clear, so it's okay to put iPad magnification or if you want to say 200x uh, magnification, that's also acceptable if it's zoomed in all the way. So the takeaway things that you can um, build off from this lecture are that you should be able to identify and get the basic function of the major structures on the microscope and you should know how to calculate magnification All right, so if you're looking under the scanning lens which is the 4x objectification it's 40 times magnification and then also uh, you should know what happens when you change your field of view so if you zoom out you lower the magnification you are increasing your field of view